switch. Hello and welcome again to Lightworks. This video is Importing Media Files, part 2 of the Lightworks Quick Start Tutorials. In this video, we'll see two methods for importing media files into your project. What we won't be looking at is capturing media from a video tape deck or audio device. If you want to do this, please refer to the Lightworks Advanced User Guide. To import a file or batch of files into Lightworks, use the Import panel which was opened on the screen when the project was first created. If you've lost this panel, just click on the Import icon in the toolbar, the second icon from the top. The panel remembers the last folder that was used for import. If you want to browse to another location, just click on Places to browse to a different folder or different drive. I'll just demonstrate. These are AVCHD MOV files from the Lightworks Dialog Editing project available to download from the website. The list of file types that Lightworks can import is constantly growing and being updated. For the latest information on supported media, please visit www.lwks.com. The panel displays details about the files, the name, the format, the frame rate, the size and the creation dates. If any of the frame rates are not compatible with the project frame rate, they display in red. You cannot import these into the project. I'm going to select some clips, holding down the shift key, clicking on the first, then the last. Before I import these files, I just draw your attention to the import method on the drop down menu at the bottom. Create link keeps your files in their original location and format so you can work with them natively. Copy Local copies the files to the destination disk without transcoding. Transcode lets you select a new compression format. To do this, click on the Import Panel Settings menu and go to Video Transcoding to select the format. Now choose the destination for your transcoded files on the drop down menu underneath the destination entry. To manage these media paths, return to the project settings panel, go to the media tab and press the add button to add another drive or path. If you wish to remove an entry, Select it and press Remove. When you install Lightworks, by default a media path will be added to the C Users Public Document Lightworks Media folder. These locations will then appear in any list in Lightworks where drive paths can be defined. By the way, these import settings, media drives, and transcode settings are set and forget options. Once they're set, they're remembered so you don't have to worry about them again. Finally, click Import. The background task progress bar will appear briefly, showing the progress of the files being imported to the system. When the import completes, the Content Manager window opens, displaying your clips highlighted in the recent filter section underneath the tab for today's imports. Keeping the clips selected, press the plus icon to create a bin containing these clips. You can rename the bin at the top here, or double click on the bins list entry. As I said at the start, there are two methods for importing media files. The other method is drag and drop from your Operating System Explorer panel. Pressing the bin plus sign once more, I'm going to create an empty bin to serve as our destination. Opening the Operating System File Browser, select Files or Folders, drag and drop straight to the Content Manager bin panel. 
Okay, that's all for part two. In the next video, we'll show you how to organize the contents of your project.